bench glute bridge, you're going to kind of slide yourself down where your shoulder blades are on the bench. The arms can just be out here. You don't need to be resting up on your elbows. And then I'll go over two different options. We've got the double leg glute bridge where both feet are down on the floor. And as far as how far to put your feet out, basically when you're in that top position, you want to be around 90 degrees or so with your knees. You don't want to get too far out this way or too far back in this way. You want to be able to keep your feet flat. I find it helpful to, even at this top position, keep your chin tucked down so that way we're keeping the abs tight. We don't want to get to this position and have a big sag here. We want to keep the tension. So we drop down, the ribs and the hips stay locked in together here so your core is tight. And you're going down, drive up, squeeze your glutes as tight as you can at the top. If you're doing a single leg, you're just going to keep one foot off the ground, drop low, pressing up. Same thing. We don't want to get into this position where you're going to start to feel your low back lock. We want everything in the glutes and we want to keep tension in the core, in the abs here as you're going up and down.